Assalamu alaikum, my dear students. How are you? I hope you are safe, healthy, and happy and ready for new music lesson. Today, we have a nice learning objective because today we are supposed to learn something about the ornaments in music. What does that mean, ornament? How we can decorate the music? Well, it's not that complicated as it sounds because ornament in music are actually there from long, long ago. People, to say more specifically musicians, started putting ornaments in music long back, let's say in somewhere in Baroque or Renaissance, and up to this day musicians are still using those ornaments, even in modern music. You can hear your favorite musician using those ornaments or decorations for music, or uh, most, more likely you can hear the singers using them when they sing. So what does this mean? Okay, This means that um, the basic melody of a song you can decorate, make uh, richer, fuller, nicer, okay, by using those small decorations, those small tricks that musicians know how to make the melody nicer. So by the end of this video, you will learn the names of those ornaments. We, will, we are going to learn only five, but there are many, many, many more. So you are going to know their names. You will know to recognize them when you hear them, and you are going to, uh, to know how to recognize them when you see them written on a piece of music sheet. The easiest way to learn about the ornaments if you see and hear me play them. So let's go on the piano and try to follow me. So this is how it's going to look like. I'm going to tell you the name of the ornament. You're going to see how this ornament is written. And in the same time, I will show you how musicians play these ornaments and you will be able to hear it. So the first one is trill. Trill is the basic and very common ornament that consists of a note, which is indicated note, note about which the symbol for trill is written and let's say for example that we have a symbol for trill written about the note sol do re mi fa sol okay so we need to play trill on note sol this would basically mean that i have to take the sol and the note after sol and do simply this this is trill so if i want to play a song Now I just use trill. Easy, right? Okay, I hope you understood the trill. So let's go to the next one. The next ornament you, you can see in music is this one called thern. Thern has the symbol as you can see on this picture and if the indicated note is again, let's say note sol, okay and this means that the symbol is written above the note sol you will need to make a turn from sol up then back down before sol and go back to the sol again so basically we go sol la sol fa sol so making the whole turn whoa back okay but we need to pay this click uh, play this quickly That would be a third. The next ornament we have in music is called mordant. Mordant is an ornament, okay, that can have that can. Uh, oh, sorry, fixing the camera. Mordant can can come in two different options. Option one that you have a lower mount mordant, and the option two is to have the upper mount mordant. What this means? If the mordant is the lower mordant and the indicated note is the note sol, let's say the symbol for mordant is written above the note sol, okay, and it's a lower mordant, you will use the, the lower note from the sol to create this figure. But if it's the upper mordant, you are going to use the upper note from indicated note. Okay, so... Or upper mordant. I hope 
This is clear. Let's move to the next one. The next ornament we have in music is called Achagadura. Achagadura is ornament that is written like this, as you can see in the picture, and you see the one small note before the indicated note. So if you want to make Achagadura in the note Sol, it will be a small, short kick before that note. Or, okay, so, okay, so one more time, small kick, oh, sorry, small kick. That note is even written smaller than usual, okay? And the last, and the last ornament for today is Apoggiatura which is ornament that is quite similar with the previous one, but with one difference. In the previous one, we had the note that is smaller. It's like a small kick before the indicated note. And we selected Sol to be our indicated, okay? So Akajadura was a small kick, okay? But Apoggiatura is a different kind where the note should be played before our indicated note and it's usually half value of the indicated note. So let's say that our indicated note is two bit sol, one, two, okay? Apoggiatura will be one bit fa. Okay? So this is it. We have only five ornaments, which I will list here. And what we are supposed to learn today is how to read them, how to recognize them when we hear them, okay? And how they look like when you see the piece of music in front of you, meaning the symbol for them. So this is it. This was today's lesson. I hope it wasn't too hard. And as you can see, it's very short. We don't need to learn so much today, but we have important things to memorize. We need to remember the name of five ornaments that we learned. We need to memorize the symbols, how they are written, and you should be able to recognize them when you hear them and see them. So before we end the lesson, let me just uh, shortly recap and make a brief of what we spoke today. So the topic of the lesson were ornaments in music. They are used to make the song and melody or melody richer, fuller, and nicer. They are very old. Those are some small extra notes and some small tricks how they are played. And among many others, we spoke about five. The first one that we mentioned was trill. Then we spoke about the third, about the mordant, appoggiatura, and agagiatura. So the five. Uh, you have in the video the pictures of how they are written so you can memorize the symbols. And I play them for you so you can um, recognize them when you hear them. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to, to reach to me. I will be more than happy to help you. I hope you stay safe, healthy and happy. God bless you and see you in the next lesson. Bye bye bye.